All right, folks, this is the illustrious <laughs> vendor hall of really rad weekend in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, as you can see right here. It's been an absolutely lovely venue. In this video, I'm just gonna take you guys around and kind of let you see what I see as I walk around on the floor at all the sweet booths with all the great games and the good inventory. Right here, we've got looks like a handbag and like various handmade goods kind of a booth here. One that I haven't spent a lot of time at, admittedly, but that's the kind of thing that I just love about conventions like this is how eclectic the mix of stuff that you can find is, right? Turtle bag with anime on the shell, like Beauty and the Beast. That's just, that's fantastic. I love it. Got some more handmade goods over here. Some, what are these? A little monster? Those are called mimics. Uh, so each one has a different kind of treasure inside. So oh, okay. Um, like this one's got shells. I love that. This one's got uh, different kind of like mica powder mix in it. Yeah. So everyone's a little bit different. Super cool. Thank you for showing me. Of course. These are boxes too? Yes. Every single one of those is a box. That's amazing. All right. Thank you. Shout out to the Art of Awkward for making these awesome boxes. Love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And folks, of course, at a video game convention, there's going to be plenty of video games to go around. These ones are quite literally in stacks. This is day two, so I would guess they would be handing out some decent deals at this point. Corner of the show here and more video game stacks just on the other side of the aisle. Wow. Look at that figure. I like these kinds of videos because it's literally just me like live reacting to stuff that I haven't really taken the time to look at so far. If you guys like these kinds of videos, definitely let me know. Uh, probably gonna be a bit of a longer one today. Got some graded cards. These ones aren't graded, but these ones are. Everything from vintage all the way up to modern. Got the tag team there, 9.5, some GBA stuff right here. And then some uh, little figures as well. Got the icon Scott Squatch at this booth over here. <laughs> How's it going? Just doing a little walkthrough. You wanna show the people some of the crazy high-end games you have over here that for some reason haven't sold? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> probably the reasons are they are, you know, in the thousands, but... Yeah. Like, Dynastic Hero, which I've been told by people that, like, worked for, like, Turbo Technology stuff that possibly is actually the lowest print run okay. of any of the Turbo games. Okay, so technically the rarest, but yeah. not necessarily the most valuable. They weren't keeping, like, count number of, like, how many copies were printed back then. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I but, think a lot of people would probably be... Magical Chase. And that one runs what? I mean, five thousand, six thousand? Okay. In the five thousand range, would be okay. Like the, the most ballparky. Wow. Um, and then a bunch of CIB stuff over here. What's the coolest game you have in here? Let's see. In like the Game Boy realm, I mean, I think a lot of people freak out for Ninja Five O. Okay, I actually was looking at Drill Dozer. Drill Dozer. For some reason, caught my eye. That's a nice one. Yeah. Uh, Ninja 5 -0. Let's say one, one that probably a lot of people haven't heard of, Great Greed. A so hidden gem. Really cool. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but a cool cover nonetheless. Yeah. That's awesome. And then, well, and this one, this is where your booth ends, right? Yeah, but we're, we're all connected, we essentially. Like, okay. In the sense of this is the owner of a store. Okay. I believe that myself and the other gentleman down there do consignment at. Oh. So, like, so you have someone like me who never wanted to open my own store. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I... So so not just emotionally connected, but financially. Exactly, yeah. See, those are the kinds of connections that go really deep, folks. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then you had some GameStop promo stuff. Did anyone else buy any of these yeah. besides me? It's about four or five other ones Okay, sold. sweet. <laughs> kind of unique stuff that it's really hard to buy outside of conventions. And look at this. Got sculptors cut. The Grail N64 game, a test cartridge, super cool. Did we talk about that at all? Is that the, um, um, what's it called? <laughs> the prototype, so, like, tester kind of console? I don't, that's not the way this is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is, I'm gonna pronounce it probably wrong. Okay. Net Your Rose, which I think stands for Let's Do This Together, or Let's Make okay. It Together. Yeah. And uh, in 1996, this was Sony's first attempt at like reaching out to indie developers and being like, hey, you guys want to make stuff with us? Yeah. So there's this controller that goes with the system and it had 
a memory card and like a cable that linked to your computer. Yeah. The idea was it was a development kit for you know small little companies or just indie people that wanted to make games. Wow. So, and it has this weird like rubbery texture to it, kind of almost like a soft chalkboard. Yeah. Oh, spot. I love I love the uniqueness of that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And just some miscellaneous riff was dying for this earlier this weekend. Vintage Nintendo 1990 shirt. This is awesome. This is, my, this is in contention for my favorite booth for sure. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Over here, folks, we've got, look at this. Heat. Hot, hot, hot. All kinds of box goodness. Some uh, 3DSs over here that, if these were out of box, I probably would have bought, but you guys know how it is. Got a graded game up there. I've had like eight of those at one point. <laughs> that was a mistake. Uh, Solita, Sol Solata Robo? I'm exposing my ignorance right now. Feels bad. Oh, that's cool. 2,500 bucks for that bundle SP Target exclusive. That is, I would not mind having that on my shelf. Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. There's just there's just grails to go around. What's up, guys? You guys have anything? Oh, look at this, folks. The Phoenix resale sticker. Love to see it. What's the coolest thing at your booth, do you think? Everything's cool. Easy. Everything here. Everything here. I loved a uh, couple of the couple of the handhelds you had on sale. I thought even some of the ones that you still have are super cool. Got some, yeah, well, I'm not surprised those sold. Trick or trade, Game Boy stuff. How have sales been for you guys? I've heard, I've heard good things from the other vendors as well. That's cool, the Toys R Us. N64 there, love to see it. This is cool too. I only recently discovered this. This is like a, it's almost like the GBA player on the GameCube, but yes. just on its own. <laughs> I think that's a cool little, and cheaper too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's going on? Doing a little bit of a walkthrough here. I love some of the art. Are these t-shirts? Yeah. That's super cool. That is basically what some stickers. Is. That is right there. Mr. Hyde's Bazaar Bazaar. And what's the story behind these toys back here? Most of it's just personal collection. Okay. So now I'm just trying to, as I cut down, yeah. help the wife out. Sure. <laughs> Retire some of the collection. I get it. Pushing them out if I can. Gotcha. Cool, well thank you for showing me. Yeah, man. Shout out to the basement vault for all this cool retro stuff. Love to see it. Appreciate it, man. Then folks, we've also got yeah, the like fantastic retro beer. It looks like your stack of uh, signs has shrunk lower. significantly. Yes, That's good news though. That means it was a successful convention. Love to see this. One of my favorite one of my favorite what would would you call this like a craft vendor? Yeah, I consider like, artists because I make them. So. Yeah. yeah. Favorite artist vendor. I mean, they just, they look so good. This one's on sale. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> then we got some, this is funny. All of these Switch games were just bought from another vendor, and now they're available here. And we've got all this stuff. Fantastic selection of sealed and CIB. All kinds of good stuff here. GBA, PS2, and the thing I like about this booth is pretty much everything is like mid to high dollar, which as you guys know about me, that's kind of my wheelhouse. He's doing a deal, so I won't bother him, but I'll probably come back and scan a little bit of the Switch stuff, see if there's some, see if there's room for a little bit of, little bit of wiggling on the profit. Got some, uh, this is cool. Are these like um, crocheted? Yeah. Okay. Wow, some crocheted creatures. Okay. okay. Wow. Those are ornate. How's it going? It's going good. Sorry, I was trying. 
This is Arts and Quacks, if anybody's interested, in some crocheted mythical beasts and not so mythical beasts and uh, ornate minis. Those are re I really love these. Super cool. Thank you for showing me. Then, folks, we've got the retro toy side here, which is going to excite a lot of people. Some Transformers sneakers. Mega Man. More Transformers. The, <laughs> the dog from the mask. This thing's so ugly, dude. All kinds of uh, figures. Even some DS games in here. We got Hitmonlee, Polyrath. Sorry, dude. You uh, evolved one too many times. This is the kind of toy I would have looked for as a kid. I love my dinosaur figures. The amount of nostalgia in this booth is oh, its almost overload. So shifting gears here just slightly, folks, get a load of this video game tournament venue. Look at the view from out there. Isn't that wild? Also, not to brag, I did manage to go two and two in the Super Smash Bros. tournament yesterday. I'm not trying to flex on you guys, but look. Oh my gosh, that is the view out of the window of this venue. And then out this side, you can see the rest of the convention venue. Look at that. You've got like a waterfall pool, a million people. Let's zoom in on that. A million people chilling in the high. We got someone waving. <laughs> because it is so freaking cold out here today. It's like 40 degrees. Over there is where the actual vendor floor is. And we're actually going to head into the other part over there, which is all of the like console exhibits. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there. So folks, here I am walking. I was on my way to the convention center to show you guys more of the venue. And I stumble upon this over here. I was like, what is this? Some sort of a meeting? Is this like a cult? What's happening over here? There's, you know, such a big crowd. And then I realized I spotted a wild Game Chaser J playing chess. <laughs> and folks, here is the myriad of systems that they have in the uh, playable exhibit here. All kinds of stuff from a pink PS5, nice Minecraft Xbox One. We'll just go on down the line here. Honestly, my favorite item in this entire thing, you guys guessed it, the Japanese exclusive Char's customized box GameCube. This thing is amazing especially with the original game boy player look at this like to be able to even just like touch this control it's in such beautiful shape that's the biggest reason i love this exhibit we've got the mountain dew xbox a fantastic 64 sports dreamcast all kind oh and we have a bunch of handhelds over here look at that neon game boy pocket love to see that all of the like 3d printed custom stands are super nice too Got a couple of Smash 64 setups over here. I was playing with a random stranger on that one last night, just, you know, having a good time. Oh, and folks, who could forget the Panasonic Q with the original controller. This is like, if I ever found this in the wild, you would see me hit the ceiling. <laughs> and then these, we got a Tommy Hilfiger color here, the Target Game Boy, honestly, one of my favorite variations. Hello Kitty Tamagotchi or I guess technically Pocket Hello Kitty. <laughs> Neo Geo Pocket, Turbo Express, tons of cool stuff in here. And then the Game Boy sewing machine, along with Game Boy Color Inbox with the sewing machine operation software game. And folks, this right here is my humble table. Pretty cool, Phoenix Resale, met some great people here. Uh, honestly spent most of the time hanging around and mingling with folks out on the vendor floor, but um, that's honestly, that's one part of these that I don't talk about enough, is just like how great it is to like get to talk to a lot of you guys and meet viewers of the channel and hear like what videos they like and what got them hooked on the channel in the first place. I will say one viewer in particular uh, named Anthony gave both Riff and I one of these super cool coins. He's a, a US Navy security officer and was just talking about like some stuff that he was going through in his life and like the role that the channel kind of played in like, you know, creating some escapism from that. It just, I don't, I don't really talk about that kind of stuff a lot, but I just wanted to say, uh, Anthony, if you ever do end up watching this, I, I spent <laughs> probably like, 
close to $4,000 this weekend on Switch games, uh, but this is my favorite pickup of the weekend. And the last room that I nearly forgot to even show you guys is the free-to-play arcade room. This is one of my favorite parts of conventions. It's just, it's so cool being able to come in here, play all of these pinball and arcade games, and not have to pay a quarter every time. This one is super cool, quick and crash. This one, I don't know if it's actually going to work here. Let's see. Oh, geez. <laughs> You caught me. You caught, <laughs> you caught me struggling to get this arcade game started. This is before my. I'll help you. Put it in there. Put it in there. All right. Don't lift. Okay. Until it says and to go. And it's teasing me. Teasing. Ready? Level one. Ready? One. It said excellent. I mean, it's that excellent, X, folks. Yeah. I don't want to brag here, but... Put it back, put it back. Oh, sorry. Go. No. Uh-oh. Left. Yes, I went from excellent. Crash. I went from excellent to not bad. All right, back in, back in. Wow. You shot that before you even get a nice minute. Last one. <laughs> this game is amazing. 